Today, we're gonna be going around Washington DC, highlighting all the things that you can do that aren't the obvious things like the museums and monuments. So make sure to stick around until the end to see everything that Washington has to offer. Hey guys, it's Jake and welcome to the channel where I share travel videos, tips, and recommendations. And in today's video, we're gonna be going around at the DMV, which is the Washington DC, the Maryland and Virginia area, going over things that you can do. We'll talk a little bit about the museums and the monuments because that's a really iconic thing to do within the area, but we'll also touch on other things that you may not know about. There is a link down in the description to a map that I used when I was there, which just goes over some of the places that I had starred and was interested in going. So if you want to go to Washington DC and see the places that I had already checked out to research, and that's down there as well. But first, if you guys could do me a huge favor and tap the like button, it just lets YouTube know that people have the content so we get shared with more people, which is a help for somebody like me that's trying to grow to 1,000 subscribers. But enough of all this, let's dive into what to do in Washington, D.C. Really quickly, I want to touch on the National Mall because that is one of the main attractions when you're coming to Washington, D.C. Within my last video, I went more in depth over the history of the monuments and what each of those things meant. But really quickly, you obviously have the Washington Monument, the Lincoln Memorial, the Capitol, the Thomas Jefferson Memorial, the Korean War Veterans Memorial, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, the White House, and also a bunch of museums. Walking around the monuments is really cool because you're able to interact with iconic monuments or learn about people that you did when you were a kid in the US school system. The monuments and museums are free to get into and are probably why you'll go to Washington DC, but I wanted to give some other options just in case. You have a couple options of getting around and what I used when on the National Mall was a bike, which was a really cheap option. We were able to make it across the mall for just a few bucks. You we'll also have an option of a subway or you can rent a car that they have parked around the city which will be easy to use. And now let's start talking about the things that you can do. The first place that we're going to talk about is Embassy Row which is a section of Massachusetts Avenue with many embassies and is home to the house of the Vice President. You obviously can't go in the homes but it is still cool to see them all. This is also close to our next stop, the Washington National Cathedral. The cathedral is the sixth largest in the world and construction began in 1907 and they didn't actually finish it until 1990. Uh, the cathedral is surrounded by gardens which are cool to see or you can check out some of the gargoyles there's even a darth vader gargoyle on the right hand side of the northwest tower you are allowed to go inside to take a tour but we weren't able to at the time depending on the time of year you're able to take a, a water taxi on the potomac river we were out of season so we drove instead but that would have been cool because we could have taken the ferry to our next stop which is alexandria the town of alexandria is primarily known for its rich colonial history as george washington's hometown at the historic center of alexandria is known as old town but with its concentration of boutiques restaurants, antique shops, and theaters. The whole area is kind of based off of King Street, which is where most of the things that you'll be interested in doing will spread off from. Some of the places that draw the most attention are where the Founding Fathers used to go, such as Christ Church or 
Gadsby's Tavern Museum. Like the Old Town area, many Alexandria neighborhoods are compact and super walkable. The area is a nice option to provide a variety of places that you can pop in and out of and eventually stop for a bite to eat. You have a couple ways of getting to Alexandria from Washington DC, whether that be the metro, a by car, or as I mentioned earlier, the water taxi. With Alexandria being older than the United States, there's a lot of history to be explored Lord. But even if you're not into all the history, Southern Living, National Geographic, Explore, and Travel Leisure have consistently named or nominated Alexandria as one of the prettiest cities, happiest cities, best cities in the South, and the best boutique shopping. What is cool about the city is that there is still a lot of the brick sideways and you can even stumble across some cobblestone roads. Something else you can do is check out Rock Creek Park, which is 29 miles of hiking trails. We were gonna check it out, but the weather wasn't looking great and didn't wanna get stuck in one of these situations again. We are on hour number four and now it's still raining. Near Washington, D.C., you'll be able to check out some wineries. One of the places we went was called the Page Springs Wineries. The winery was located out in the woods, which gave it a cool backdrop. There was an open area spaces with picnic tables. They also had a food truck that you were able to get some pizzas at, and overall, it was a great experience. We also went to a place called Bull Run, which was a winery that had a different bit of a vibe. The winery had a barn-like feel with those picnic tables that you could eat at and spend some time outside, which was great. The winery was also next to an open field, which has some horses there, which is cool to look at. There's also some live music. Both wineries were great places for an outside hang and to being able to sample some wine. Both wineries were under 45 minutes away from Washington, D.C., and there are more in the area as well. Georgetown is another part of Washington DC which is really historical and a great place to wander around if you're looking for older homes or older architecture. Georgetown is also home to a variety of shops and a university which has a lively nightlife. You'll also be able to find a variety of shops, restaurants, and little boutiques. The Georgetown area is the oldest part of the city and was actually a separate city before it became the Washington DC area. There are also other random things to find around Georgetown like the steps to the movie The Exorcist. The overall area is really cool to walk around in and I would highly recommend it as it is one of those quintessential neighborhoods that we don't really have where I'm from. So it's cool to see all of the buildings and the different kinds of architecture. All right, by Georgetown, you can walk down to the waterfront that has a variety of restaurants or you can go onto the river to kayak the wharf is another area with a similar vibe that's on the river with restaurants as well. So, so you can head over to Key Bridge Boathouse to be able to do kayaking, paddles, or whatever you're interested in. One cool thing we discovered was that they were a bunch of speakeasies. So if you're into grabbing some fancy cocktails, you can go around to different places to try them out. 
Most of them have these hidden entrances that lead you to the bar inside. And they're scattered all around Washington DC and are hidden with these cool entrances. Washington DC is also a melting pot of people so you can find a variety of food such as ramen, chicken and waffles, they have the best cupcakes in the US some say. There are also barbecue places but make sure to ask for the mumbo sauce which is a Washington DC specialty. There are pretzel sandwiches and Nutella stuffed in pretzels. We even went to a South African restaurant. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a better idea of what to do in Washington DC. And if you're interested in other travel destinations, you can check out my channel page or there's a link down in the description for some travel articles. And if you want to be around for when I post my next video, do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.